Hello, Brunt of the Odd Octane here, and in this video, I'm going to open up an RLC card that I was able to get. Let's go ahead and open this up. I have labeled the box, but I forget what the label I put on it is. This is the. Oh, yeah. The Chevrolet Monte Carlo. 1975 Chevy Monte Carlo. This one has the working suspension. Let's go ahead and open this up. Don't know if this one's numbered. Some of the cars have not been numbered. Uh, I don't know if this is one that is or is not, but I was not able to get the Rosen one, the original one. I got the Snowman, but I didn't get the Rosen one. So maybe at some point I will. The Lowrider low is one of the most prolific styles of car due to their colorful paint jobs and hydraulic suspensions. Originating in Southern California, these unique rides quickly became a fan favorite. The 1975 Chevy Monte Carlo became a coveted car in the Lowrider community, and this model proudly represents it. Spectra Flame antifreeze paint, pinstripes, and custom patterns run smooth along the long flared fender and quarter panels. The interior colors match the exterior with the addition of four woofers that the drivers would blast while cruising down the coastal highway. An articulated suspension allows for an adjustable stance from high to low and even drop to the three wheel motion. A customized license plate reads West Side for an extra nod to its origins. And they got the, the uh, chains on the License plate, let's take a look at this thing. Wow, that is incredible. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's got a felt box, that's really cool. Definitely low and slow. Man, the interior, look at that, green interior. Four woofers in the back, just as I said. West Side, Monte Carlo. My dad, I think, had a 76 Monte Carlo. So this is just one year before that. Man, look at that grill. And it's got the articulated suspension, so let's, let's uh, get this thing up. Wow. That is... I don't, <laughs> that would totally scrape. Like, that wouldn't even... I don't even know if the back wheels would be on the ground at that point, would they? No, that's so high, it's just dragging the bottom. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's funny. Wow, that's really cool, though. There we go. That's got a, got a bit of a bounce to it. We can definitely go three wheels as well. Let's see if we can get that motion going. Pull that up and crank to three. So we have... Yep. Three wheels. There it is. Look at that. Man, that's really cool. That's so clever that they were able to do that. This one has a lot more art articulation than uh, the Snowman or the Rosen one. But hey, it's still really cool. They've definitely improved. It's amazing. Look at that suspension work, though. Like... It's just done so well. And then the tampa work. I'm so glad I got to add this to the collection. Let me know if you were able to add it to your collection. If you're excited about more of these. Do you want to see a mini truck? I guess that's going to be where they're headed. We all know where it's headed, right? A mini truck? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.